Jenny Slatten and Sumit Singh are among the most popular 90-day fiancé franchise couples, but they aren't better than Kimberly Rochelle. And TJ Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Kimberly Rochelle and Tejasweet TJ Goswami are far more compatible than 90-day fiancé. The other ways Jenny Slatten and Sumit Singh Kimberly and TJ debuted in the franchise in 2023, while Jenny and Sumit joined the series in 2019. The couples had similar journeys due to matching cultural gaps and family issues. Kimberly and Jenny are both independent ladies from the United States, while Sumit and TJ belong to conservative families in India. Therefore, the two couples had strikingly similar relationships with the ladies trying their best to navigate their new lives surrounded by unexpected responsibilities. Since TJ and Kimberly debuted on 90 Day Fianza, the other way they've been compared to Sumit and Jenny. TLC also realized the striking similarities and brought Jenny and Sumit to the tell-all so they could advise the new pair on how to lead a successful life. Unfortunately, Kimberly and TJ felt insulted by their peers and their intervention. They disrespected Sumit and Jenny and later called them fake on social media. Fortunately, the much more experienced pair showed maturity. Sumit and Jenny called TJ and Kimberly immature kids to close the argument. TJ and Kimberly aren't liked much, but they are still a better couple than Sumit and Jenny. When TJ and Kimberly met on Facebook, they had a genuine connection. They built their relationship on mutual trust and love. In comparison, Sumit and Jenny's first meeting was thoroughly fake. Sumit pretended to be a handsome and rich man to catfish Jenny into falling in love with him. He later married another woman in India and didn't tell Jenny about it. While Sumit and Jenny are in a healthy marriage now, it's hard to deny the foundation of their relationship isn't as strong. Another thing that makes TJ and Kimberly a better couple is their sense of respect. While the pair have had their arguments, they haven't let their families stop them from pursuing each other. TJ even defended Kimberly in front of his brother numerous times. In comparison, Sumit allowed his family to insult Jenny for a long time. He didn't stop his mother from pushing Jenny over the edge, making her work unnecessarily, and disrespecting her. Sumi did run away and marry Jenny secretly, but he rarely did his due diligence as her partner. TJ and Kimberly are much better because they tied the knot in time. Marriage is the most important part of a relationship, allowing pairs to focus on their lives together and build something meaningful. It marks the start of a family. TJ and Kimberly married a few years after meeting each other. They faced many challenges, but are now much happier together. Sumit and Jenny didn't tie the knot for years. If the former 90-day fianza, the other way couple had married when Jenny was in her 50s, they would have had much more to look forward to.